All right, check out the effects of this. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. Um, kind of see debris flying around, stars and things like that. I just kind of wanted to talk about you know, how are we doing that? Because um, it really doesn't look like this. It's kind of all an illusion. If I jump over to actual display here um, and into server view, it doesn't look that pretty. Um, in fact, it's just kind of a blank void. Uh, it looks kind of lame. So, but when you jump into the client, it looks all pretty. So we're doing a bunch of different things to do this. We're doing some parallaxing on two layers. So we have a foreground and a mid ground. And uh, just to show that off a little bit, um, what can I do to make that clear? So if I make the foreground completely not transparent, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move in the opposite direction. So let me restart this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all the effects manually. And then we're going to go into each one individually. So the very first thing, make these textures transparent. Make those transparent and turn off the particles. And yeah, now we've got you know, not a lot going on here, right? Now the problem is, you know, I can tell I'm moving right now because I'm near this planet, but as soon as I move away from the planet, I lose all sense of movement. I can't tell how fast I'm going. It's just kind of hard to tell. So we decided that we need to add some sort of points of reference to tell that you're moving. So first thing we did, we added a uh, mid-ground. So we have this texture in the background right here, and it slowly moves in the background as you move along. And there's another planet. And so you can kind of get a sense of movement with that. And we also have it changing colors and stuff too as you move around. Um, so that's nice. But then we also added a foreground. So if I get make that hit again and add the foreground in, we have this other texture that moves a little faster. It's closer to the player. It's not quite um, in line with the player. As you can see, that planet is moving faster than the background. So it's still moving a little slower purposefully. So it's still in the distance a little bit, but not as much as the, the normal mid-ground. Again, this is just called parallaxing. We're just offsetting the texture in order to do that. Nice, simple trick, not very hard to do. So that's nice. So then let me turn that off. So then we also added some particles. So first thing we did is we added some, some smoke. And we can see this particle emitter is kind of right on top of me and it, it actually changes its position based on how fast I'm going. So it starts generating the smoke ahead of me. So I kind of fly into it. So that kind of gives it a little more hazy look, uh, which is kind of nice. Then we also added some kind of sparkles. Right now we're actually using the default sparkle texture from like, you know, the beginning of Roblox basically. And uh, we are making our own version of that soon. We just haven't added it in yet. So that gives a little more frame of reference of movement too, which is cool. And the smoke also changes colors with where you are. Um, and then if we add everything back, This, I make the foreground 0.5, mid ground 0.5. And then we get all these layers on top of each other. And that just gives you kind of a sense of position in the world, some movement, and just kind of looks cool.